We have gotten so many questions about how to monetize your reels, but one question we get asked a lot in particular is why is Facebook demonetizing my videos? Or why can't I use music from Facebook's music library without getting demonetized? Well, I have been digging deep into the pages of Google and Facebook may finally have a solution to that problem with their updated music revenue sharing. So stick with me to the end of this video because we're gonna resolve this today. So what is Facebook's music revenue sharing? As a result of Meta's partnerships with music rights holders, creators have the opportunity to monetize eligible long form videos, meaning 60 seconds or more, on Facebook that include licensed music instead of those videos being demonetized. Y'all hear that? Instead of being demonetized. Music revenue sharing is only available to creators who are eligible for in-stream ads and meet our monetization eligibility criteria. So if you've ever made a reel and you're like, oh, I have the perfect song to go with this. Now you can safely use that song knowing you won't later be demonetized for using it. Facebook wants creators to be able to include their favorite music from popular artists in their reels and allow all parties involved to make money from it. Facebook said expanding music revenue Revenue sharing on Facebook allows video creators to monetize their videos that used licensed music from our expansive catalog. This gives both creators and music rights holders a new way to earn money from videos on Facebook. So how does it work? When participating, a portion of your video's ad revenue will be shared with music rights holders. You will receive a 20% revenue share on eligible videos, regardless of whether you use just one or more pieces of licensed music in your video. And note that revenue sharing rates may be subject to change in the future. So some creators may hear that and think, dang, so a portion of my video's ad revenue is getting sent to the artist? Yes, but remember the other option was for you to make no money at all on videos that use licensed songs. So either don't use popular music in your videos or accept the music revenue sharing for what it is. Facebook said if licensed music is detected in your monetized videos, you may be notified in Creator Studio, which I know at this point that's outdated language since the Creator Studio got replaced with the Meta Business Suite. So we'll talk more about that in a second, but they go on to say, you'll be notified in support inbox that your content is participating in revenue sharing, which will then be automatically applied to your video. However, you should review all notifications if you believe you own the rights to all of the licensed music in your video or have permission to use it. When you review these notifications, you can submit a dispute if necessary. So at the top of this Facebook article, they have a disclaimer that says Creator Studio tools are moving to Meta Business Suite soon. You will still have access to many of the same features to create, manage, and monetize your content on Facebook and Instagram all in one place. Your content and data will automatically transfer when you move to Meta Business Suite. So basically when Facebook says Creator Studio, just know that right now they mean Meta a business suite. Now let's go over some best practices and things to be aware of so that you don't get demonetized. Revenue sharing is not applicable for all video content. In some cases, your video may not be eligible for revenue share or may be demonetized. Here are a few tips to ensure that you can earn a revenue share on your eligible videos. Number one, revenue sharing only applies to long form video content of 60 seconds or more and is not currently available for short form or live video. Number two, there must be a visual component in the video. The licensed music itself cannot be the primary purpose of the video. And number three, you may not be eligible for a revenue share if you are using full songs or if your video consists mostly of licensed music. Okay, see, now we're hitting a gray area. What does mostly mean? How much is mostly? Because if my video consists mostly of licensed music, it could be demonetized. But does that mean more than 30 seconds in a 60 second video? Does it mean only 45 seconds of a 60 second video? What about if the video is longer than 60 seconds? What's the cutoff then? In my opinion, and given Facebook's track record with stuff like this, this is one of those things that just gives Facebook room to make mistakes. Like if there's a bug or an error where your video is accidentally demonetized, they're covering themselves by saying your video can be demonetized if it consists of mostly of a song. Now they go on to say that if your video is demonetized, your page profiles and ability to monetize will otherwise not be impacted. So 
that's good at least. If you're using music in your video and want to prevent demonetization, you can use our catalog of licensed music to check what music is eligible for revenue sharing. So that's extremely important to remember that we're not talking about every song that ever existed here. We're specifically talking about songs from Meta's catalog of licensed music. Now, when I clicked that link to see their catalog of licensed music, the link initially took me here to Creator Studio and I should have hit exit and looked around a little in here first, but instead I clicked switch to Meta Business Suite, not knowing that it would not let me go back to Creator Studio again, even if I type the URL in directly. And when you get to the Meta Business Suite, there's no music catalog for me to look through. It used to be under file management, licensed music, but Meta Business Suite doesn't have that yet. Honestly, just typical Facebook things. <laughs> I'm sure y'all can relate, but I have heard that they're still in the process of moving things over from Creator Studio to the new Meta Business Suite. So my hope is that by the time this video publishes, you'll be able to browse through their catalog of licensed music in the new Meta Suite. Now, they also said when you use songs from our inventory of monetizable licensed music, your video will be eligible for revenue sharing with the music rights holder at the time it is published. But you can also use royalty-free music in our sound collection at Facebook dot com slash sound slash collection. So if all else fails, royalty free music may be the way to go. And lastly, they said it's still possible to receive a music rights claim from someone when you post their content, even if you buy or download the content, such as a song from iTunes, record the content on your own device, such as background music at a party, sporting event or concert, give credit to the copyright owner, include a disclaimer that you don't intend to infringe or profit from it, or even if you think the content is fair use. So basically they're saying that there are not other ways around this, so stop trying. You have to use music from their approved library their way in order to get monetized with music in the video. All right, now I wanna wrap up with exactly how to get started with music revenue sharing, but first I have to mention really quickly that if you'd rather have somebody a professional, preferably, handle all of your short video marketing and Facebook marketing for you. We do that for small businesses every day. So if you're interested in getting a free custom marketing proposal along with a quote, fill out our contact form. I have linked it below. All right, let's wrap up with exactly how to get started monetizing Facebook videos with licensed songs. Facebook says before uploading any video content to Facebook, we recommend that you check the licensed music library, which contains all eligible songs that have been approved for monetization through music revenue sharing. So again, hoping that library becomes re-available in the business suite. Once confirmed, here's how music revenue sharing works. First, upload your video 60 seconds or longer to your Facebook page via Creator Studio or direct upload to your page. If the song is eligible for music revenue sharing, you'll see a notification within Creator Studio and support inbox that confirms this. Once the video is published to your page, you'll receive a notification confirming that your video is earning and sharing revenue. Creators can monitor their progress on expected earnings from in-stream ads in Creator Studio or the new Meta Business Suite. And again, anytime they're mentioning Creator Studio there, you wanna swap that out in your mind with Meta Business Suite. Music revenue sharing has rolled out to video creators globally. Eligible videos can monetize from in-stream ads where music is available on Facebook. We'll continue to work with our music partners to expand the licensed music library to include more licensed songs from your favorite artists and evolve the experience. So hopefully this all holds up even after the switch from Creator Studio to Meta Business Suite happens. I'll be sure to keep you you guys posted here so subscribe to ensure that you don't miss any updates.